Alright, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to take a Guitar Pro drum track and use it in a recording. So the first step is to pick a song that you want to use. So for this tutorial I'm going to use Intake by the band Volumes. So just go to your favorite tab site, grab a Guitar Pro file. So then you just gotta open up the guitar profile. Do that here. Alright, so then just make sure it's all good. Just. So as you can hear, the t uh, the drums are already tabbed out, which is great because that saves us a lot of time from figuring it all out and tracking it in the MIDI keyboard. So then all you need to do is go File, Export, MIDI, and save it wherever you want. So right here you can see the MIDI file. Just click Save. I already did it, so I'm going to not do that. And then you go into your digital audio workstation. I myself prefer Reaper and then you're just going to want to start a new project file and import the MIDI file. Alright so all you got to do new project insert media file and then grab the MIDI file you just saved from Guitar Pro open it up it's going to ask you if you want to expand it to not to however many tracks and blah 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 just click OK. And as you can see, now all of the MIDI information from Guitar Pro has been set up nicely within Reaper. But when you click play, like that, nothing's going to happen because all this is is the notes that uh, the MIDI is programmed to play. However, it's not going to play anything because there's no virtual instrument applied. So in order to do that, all you got to do is just select the track. So I selected the drum track on uh, of the MIDI, and then you just apply your virtual instrument to that. So I use Superior Drummer. I'm just going to show you the default kit. So yeah, that's a it's this is called a VSTI or virtual instrument, and now that I applied it on this drum kit layer. Now all of a sudden, the drums will play. Obviously this needs some editing because it doesn't sound too great. But that's basically all you have to do to get your guitar profile into Reaper. And this works as well for keyboards and I guess if you're using a synth bass. Uh, bass drops, whatever, as long as it's tabbed out in Guitar Pro, it's that simple just to import it into Reaper and apply a virtual instrument to it.